Matt Morrow here, Carolina Varsity. I'm here at quarterback Jackson Gibbs, talking to him after the 31 7 playoff win over West Mid. Jackson, what was the key for victory tonight? I think the key for victory uh, was definitely coming out in our in our first half and trying to play the best we the best we could. Mm -hmm. uh, lately, first half games uh, we haven't played as well, so I think we definitely tried uh, picked up picked up the tempo in the first half, and uh, you know we always come back in the second half strong. So I think yeah. the key for us was yeah. at least getting a few points on that board during the uh, first half. Now you guys went. I looked like a no huddle offense. Um, all the signals and stuff going on. I saw you doing all these gestures and stuff. How how easy is that to get everything communicated to everyone on the field? Right, right. It's a uh, the, the system we run now um, is different than we ran back with you know Collins. You know, okay. uh, I'll just charge it, change it up uh, to go spread. Mm -hmm. which, uh, you can't be mad if you a spread, but uh, <laughs> it does come. With, it does come with a few uh, few tricks and uh, crannies in there. So it is it is hard. Um, you know, getting everyone in the right spot, right, uh, right position, right place. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see, we still struggle with that uh, from game to game. You know, we, we're getting better at it, mm -hmm. but uh, I mean, they're overall. I think we run it pretty well, so we're doing good. Yeah, at it. yeah, it was very impressive. And you hit a couple nice touchdown passes to your receivers there. Right. If you want to say anything about them, your offensive line, how they play? Yeah, absolutely. Our offensive line has uh, grown to get to going a lot better this year mm -hmm. since the beginning. Uh, and our receivers, man. Uh, Sean Hershey, uh, he's been with me uh, all my years with JV, and now he's you know, up, us at the varsity level. He's been a great player for us. Um, Etch Valha, he, you know, he's a great live receiver, and of course you got Marquel. You know. yeah. Marquel, make your, Marquel, make your play, man. He's a great, <laughs> great player. He's a great player. Now, we just found out you guys are playing Audrey Kill next week. That's a rematch from previously earlier in the season, that wild game you guys won at the end. What's going to be the key to victory playing these guys a second time? Well, gosh, we played Arctic Kell uh, here last game. That was, yeah. that was a close finish. Yeah. Um, and to beat them, I know that uh, we got we got to come out strong in the first half. Uh, I mean, they'll take it too. And, uh, they got great quarterback over there. Yeah. They got great. They got great offense. Great coaching. The coaching is you know great coaching staff. Mm -hmm. So I just play everything they do. We just got to come out strong. We got to look to the team. We got can't make can't make mistakes. Uh, can't make mistakes. We got to. Exactly. Last question. You're the grandson you know, famous Joe Gibbs. How much does he influence the stuff you do in the like, uh, yeah. He uh, he comes he, he's such a like, uh, yeah. He uh, he comes he, he's such a such a great man, uh, you know, uh, he, you know, he comes like many of the practices. Uh, um and you know he watches all my games and you know he's not you know he, of course, he's not like you know really, really hard on this, like that. <laughs> but I mean, he gives some uh, pointers and tips, and man, I try to get everything I can from that. Uh, yeah. That's like I mean, that's the stuff that gives me. You know, I try not to I try to make most of every, everything he tells me, and uh, can go off that. Excellent. Well, great job, man. Best of luck next week. Second round, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks a lot.